Hello everyone, welcome to our episode of SRB TV. I'm Chris N. I'm Christopher and happy Thanksgiving. Yes, so on today's episode we are taking a look at His Dark Materials Season 1 Episode 4, Armor. Yes, and now for corrections. Yes, we got some major correcting to do. So, um, special thanks to Keandric 2 for this, plus she thanks us for the improved volume on the last episode. Um, is the Magisterium, not the Magistery. Yeah. Um, Lord Az Azriel is pronounced Azriel. Azriel, okay. With the emphasis on the first syllable. Um, we see the word pretty much, this phrase pretty much a lot, so we're going to stop that. Pretty much. Um, uh, regarding John Perry, they explain in the episode, the reason Lord Boreal wants to find him isn't because he knows him or has a connection to him already, it's because Lord Boreal himself was the only person he had ever known or heard of up to that point who actually crossed over into another world. Ah, uh, okay. That's why he's so invested in it. Because he's he, the first one to, to discover. Pretty that's much. why he was shocked to find that the guy was born in our Earth. world. Yeah, was born in our Earth, pretty much, and he, had, he was able to tra travel to, uh, to their world. So yeah. he's the first one, so that's yeah. why it's so particular for him. Yeah, it's because Lord so was the only person you ever known across the Orange world. When he found out John Perry had two, he feels like he has to meet this person who is the only other person that's done this big thing. Um, any other corrections? Any other corrections? Uh, Golden Compass does not refer to the Alathemer. The book never calls it that. It's a uh, not the, uh, the alithiometer. Alithiometer. The book never calls it that. It's a metaphorical tower referring to God's compasses in Paradise Lost. I heard about that one. Yeah, because they um, explain what it actually. Yeah. Is. Um, the term uh, let's see, alithiometer <laughs> comes from the term Greek term alithia, which means truth, and meter, which means measure. So basically, it means it's the measurement of truth. Yeah. Remember, I remember what she he told her. What he, uh, yeah. The guy, the head, one of the Egyptians told her about the thing. It helps tell you the truth you want. That you much. want to hear. To seek the truth. Okay. So other than that, we found they found out a couple things. We found out Mrs. Coulter is in fact Lyra's mom. Yeah. Uh, apparently, her and her father are at an actual thing, pretty much. Yeah. And that um. And that when um. When she was, she was give, she had the baby. Uh, her then husband wanted to murder the baby. Yeah, yeah. he wanted to murder the baby. They got into a tussle. They fought. They pretty much they fought to a point where they actually, I think, the other guy, the politician that she was married to, didn't make it. Let's put it that way. And I guess uh, she was able to get the baby, mm -hmm. uh, but during the Great Flood, he was able to steal the baby back and drop it off at Oxford. Oxford during the Great Flood. Exactly. So that's what's going on. That's, that's going on there, pretty much. Um, as of right now, and then they did. Oh, oh, sorry. Another correction. We keep on naming the Egyptian mom's son Will. It's, it's actually Billy. It's Billy. That's, it's I mentioned Billy. that before. It's Billy. We it's did mention Billy. that. We did bring that up, I think. But it's Billy. Um, yeah. Another thing uh, they brought up. I forgot which commenter they brought up, saying how the whole our theory, your theory about the whole demon and the, the monkey and stuff like that. That is all false. Pretty much, there's nothing there to look at, look into, or theorize. Somebody did bring that up, saying, uh, "Don't look into that. That's that's nothing." Mm -hmm. The whole remember how you said pretty much, "Oh, maybe they." I don't know. I don't know. To me, the only reason we brought it up is only because just that it's just the just the way they're sh they're showing it off as a pretty much you know, yeah. but but it's just again we're always theorizing. We never read the books. Okay. So that's just us. Sorry. Okay. So a couple other things that happened aside from that big news. Yes. Is that of course we found out the guy playing the person Lord Boreal's after mm -hmm. is being played by the guy who played Moriarty and Sherlock. Yes, which means he's going to be a key feature, yeah. key character coming up. Because he's still because Boreal's now trying to figure out this mystery of okay, if he's from our world, how does he have a demon? How yeah. does he have a demon at all? Because he's from yeah, since he's from the, yeah, since he's from their world. How does he have a demon? And he may have found a connection because the guy's family is still alive in that world. Yeah, so that's where it makes it more interesting. Then, unfortunately, the uh, the head Egyptian of the West Egyptian's yeah. son dies trying to get the information about the gobblers, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, that's where from Miss Coulter's place. Yeah, the, the, yeah, and then that's when they realize they have to move north as soon as possible. But but like, the uh, the Egyptian mom's other son was yeah. able to bring the list. Confirming, uh, the, confirming the kids uh, that have been, that been taken to the north. So that's where we're heading now is the north. Is, now we're straight straight to the north. 
Um, and no, also, though Mrs. Coulter using her um, spy flies, spy flies uh, finds out that they are heading to the north. They are now. It's like found out where they are, where they're at, and stuff like that. So, and it looks like pretty much those are completely illegal from what they're, what's been told to us. Yeah. The spy flies are illegal because he uses like Ill illegal magic, I guess. Um, that's what they're stating. But besides all that, yeah. Um, with all the information said, um, what's to come in this episode? We don't know. Sounds like we're finally going to meet the big polar bear and also uh, Lin Manuel, Lin -Manuel, Manuel uh, Lin, Lin's pretty much a character uh, that uh, Sam Elliott played in the film. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's going to be fun to see. So let's dive right into this. I've been waiting for the polar bear part. I don't know, since these, this series has started. So let's dive into this again for His Dark Materials Season 1, Episode 4, Armor. So let's get suited up. Let's go. Body team back. Now we know why she's cho more or less been chosen, apparently, is that she can use a Luffy She's a natural with the Luffy Yes, I will stop calling Golden Compass, because you guys asked me to stop calling Golden Compass. So you have to keep practicing saying Elite Diameter, Elite Diameter, Elite I'm just going to call, you don't show up, I'm just going to start at Alley. I'm just going to start calling the Alley. The Alley. Oh, great. Ah. You put on the arrow notch. What the fuck's wrong with you? Rumor of a bear. Any truth to that? Yes, I heard a rumor too. Of an aeronaut who creates a fucking... wherever he goes. Any truth to that? <laughs> causing trouble wherever he goes. That's what you said, right? Things like yeah. causing trouble wherever he goes. Hi, Lee. Quite something. Oh, wow. That's the biggest thing he's Not turned into. I wanted to be here. Now that I'm here. I'm not so sure. Or besides the cat. Remember, he turned into a cat. Yeah, once. Yeah. Well, this is definitely bigger than, no, it's, it's oh, bigger than a cat. Bigger than a cat. Same size. Bigger than a cat. I need to know if I can. It's because there were studies. Right there. The magisterium. Put it away, Lara. Everybody's watching. That's what I said. I'm like, don't open up in a wide open. It's because of her study. She naturally picked it up, pretty much, from yeah, what she wanted. understand the. Man, we're going to see is important. Okay. I have to they were. Her what studies the were intentional on it. You know? which yeah, because they, like, they figured she was the prophecy. Yeah. yeah. Her name was Seraphina. There's a reason why you don't see a child on the streets of Cholazan. That's why they were here. Oh. The effect oh. Of so they went. And they saw a kid. They, the fuck are you doing here? So if you know what we ask of her, come. Cause like all kids are taken, so that's why they said you don't see the kids on the street. I understand you are in possession of an elitiometer. You're a professor. I thought you were talking to a bear. Pull her in, like, you hear, man? What do you want, man? Seriously. Like, I played that Alamo area, right? I don't know why the fuck she's coming back in over here. They said the bear's always drinking, right? Got it, Can we talk with you? Really fucking yeah. Nice. You die, you a coward like they are. Damn! Oh. She likes to push it. That's what I like about Lara. She's not bullshitting around. She wants to get her answers. She wants to get things done. Damn. What? You have Azrael. In a jail. I have Azrael. No, I know what she said. I'm baffled by what she said. Controlled by me. There's a difference. The high price. Azrael. So she gives Azrael to them, while in return, she, she gets to um, go to the north, and she gets to keep the leafiometer when she Lyra, the way it. you spoke to that bear. A glass of hot rum. Lara. I'm just looking for some conversation. They shit in all their drinks? Jeez. Feels like they don't like any type of outsiders, you know? What are you all afraid of? I am simply after a bear. Oh, there, there we go. There, there we go. go. They're, they're all even. How come? 
You know what a bear looks like, don't you? Thick coat, big teeth, cute little nose. Well, that shows them. I'd like to think I made my point. And what point was that? Three watches in a wallet. Oh, uh, damn. Oh, they actually no, she have wants, a, No, she wants access. Access to an alethiometer. Not That's that. what she said. Oh, okay. She is, don't you? Town's no place for York. How do you know him? Well, she's just a sprung box, and she just keeps asking questions. Please, <laughs> Morgan, can you tell me where to find her? I'm just following her lead. <laughs> oh. What is it about my... He's a bear. He can't be a slave. Mm -hmm. Not to you. A magisterium or any Shame on you, Mr. Sisley. God yeah, man. Magisterium is paying him to keep the bear there. That's why he's like, who paid you to write this? Because even he know that means he knows his shit going. It's just like everything he's saying was all true. That is guarded by other bears. The magisterium are. Okay, so somebody has they her father. They do. Then all the more reason why we always been on the side. That's what the rumor side. is. We don't want him. Now, you don't need to because you know it. Yeah, but he doesn't understand the magisterium did like this. The only person that knows that is the sheriff is Lee. I think that's where they. Have they, to need the bear. they need the I'm bear. I'm sorry, a bear on their side will back them up. All that help you can get to begin with. What do Mrs. Cole want with you? We need you. And the bear. We need the bear, and I'm secondary. How do we get him to come with us? I know you know. He's obliged to this town. The work's going nowhere. He's an almond bear. What could they. They got his arm. Hey, you got there without needing my help. Yeah. <laughs> now she puts two and two together. Why is his arm so important? That's what it looks like. It's a door. It is. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh no, they're going. Talk to the bear. Figure out where the bear. Probably let the bear know what's really going on. I know where your armor is, Yorick Ben. Or at least I know how to find it. Where is my armor? Okay, let's try this. <laughs> like, just, just give me a moment. I gotta, I gotta ask. <laughs> Says, come back later. <laughs> <laughs> Call back. Was it a? Uh, please leave a message. <laughs> Out for lunch. I think it's just said seller of the oak tree. This is not good. Cause now he's gonna attack. Oh god damn! He's, <laughs> no, that guy's like, I just fixed the boat! <laughs> My cabbage boat! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> yeah, he went for somebody to get tossed out the window. <laughs> oh, so I flew out the window! <laughs> I 
I'm still bragging about that visually. Mmm. Even need to keep our meeting a secret, but it won't be difficult if I can't see you. Don't waste my time. No, no, of course. Oh, remember, remember what he said about the armored bears? You, you. The armored bears have been working. They've been using armored bears except for the. To, apparently, they're guarding uh, the children. No, Azrael. The great help in aiding you in disposal of Yorick Burnison and helping you take the throne. She was a part of like setting up Yorick. Oh, shit. But he is now my prisoner in my dungeon. I have a point of uh, Yorick was most likely the former king. Yeah. And she pretty much helped somebody pretty much bring, bring him down and set him up. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. It makes sense. So that was season one, episode four of His Dark Materials. This is pretty much the, the halfway point. This is the mid-season. Yeah, mid-season. We got the bear. We got, got the bear. We got, we got, we got Lee. Lee. Pretty much. Um... Yeah, this was a good episode. It was just yeah. got more in, more again more stuff that's been in, you know being informed to us. Um, how supposedly now they supposedly she's already they've already captured uh, Azriel pretty much. Mm -hmm. They've already captured him, but with the help of the bears. Yeah. Um, and it looks like oh man, it looks like they're slowly taking control of the north because even like Lee stated pretty much it's like it used to be. The north, anybody could come, and there was no magistrate there. Yeah. Here, it's like now they're starting to so slowly start to take over the north. Because yeah. even he started realizing, pretty much, you guys are setting up this damn bear. Yeah. Because obviously the ma the magisterium. Magisterium, for, yeah. Yeah, the magisterium is is very concerned considering not Azriel's uh, findings, pretty much, but also. Yeah. Because it seems to be a much bigger, weaker connection mm -hmm. to the to the other world in the north. Exactly. So that's why I have them there. And it looks like even Mrs. Coulter has her own plans of um, using her own intentions, using her ex-husband uh, to her advantage, pretty much. Whatever her ex-lover, pretty much, Azriel. Because we still don't know exactly what her goals are, what her research is for. Whether she's doing it, she's doing all this for research or for you know, for, or for herself. That's the big question. Yeah. Right now, it seems like she's like trying to stay one step ahead of the magisterium because you notice that in a thing where she's like, I have Azria, and that's where she used to to get her advantage at the magisterium. So she's trying to stay one step ahead to get what she wants and work the system in a way, pretty yeah. much the way she wants it to be, and. That, that, that's what it seems like it is going on pretty much. Um, and what's cool is that this episode we see Lyra, she's starting to use a lithiometer much more. Very yeah. smoothly, much more effectively pretty much. Yeah, now she's she, starting to use it on a constant basis. Now she knows how to understand it and how it works. Yeah. But it seems like the Magisterium, it looks like when they use it, it's like, yeah, it's going to be well because we just study the right question to ask. Yeah. While she already, she's gifted already with knowing, bam, 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 oh, I got the answer right here. Right. You know? So you, that's where you can tell she's that gifted. She is special. You know, but the question is, that's the perfect question. Even uh, Miss Coltier pretty much asked the lithium, they're going, who is Lyra? Really? You know, even though it's like it's, it's her daughter, it's like, who is she really? Yeah. You know, who, who is she, you know, a part of? And again, I think it's going to come back to where it's like she's a part of this prophecy. It's also interesting to find out more about the uh, witches. Because apparently they have a unique gift. Of being far away from their Much demons, more further away, which, which would probably explain Mrs. Coulter's ability of having being able to have a good distance. Because they said too, they do have some witches on the Magisterium side. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure she learned from the witches how to be able to be much further away from her demon. Yeah. And I said one because many times before I say again here, visually the bear effects are amazing. Mm -hmm. They're really, really well. The effects done. in the show are, are really awesome. And like I was telling my brother. Is that if you watch some of the behind the scenes on HBO's uh, main uh, YouTube channel, they show they actually are using actual puppetry to use for each of the demons, pretty much for yeah. people. So then they say, because you watch it and you see them, it's like it feels like they they, they say it really may, makes it feel like your demon is right yeah. there. And you they can don't see have they, you can see why they chose somebody uh, to, uh, like Lin Miranda to play 
uh, Lee compared to who Lee was originally played in the movie, pretty much. With Sam Elliott. Because it, Lee, from the looks of it, is supposed to be not really a trustworthy guy. He's a bit of a... Like, he looks like he's a good-hearted person, mm -hmm. but he's definitely a bit of a grifter. Yeah, that's what it is. He's like his own grifter. You know, he moves from place to place, you know, and he does what he does, pretty much. Yeah, you know? I mean, he's good at what he does. As an aeronaut, he's good at what he does. Plus, you know, he's very smart, too, especially when he went to the, confront the guy about the, the, uh, the, the, that's where the put, Oryx armor. Yeah, and that's where you put two and two together to realize, they paid you to write this. Yeah, so, so far, I can see why they chose Lin Moore, somebody like uh, Lin Moore Miranda. Lin, pretty much, overall, and how they, why they choose him, because he has that perfect attitude he can give for the character. And I'll be interested to see where they go with um, Boreal as well, considering... What he is asking to find out about the leafy about yeah. the truth, pretty much about where this it's guy like he's, is. He, it's like he's obsessed with the, you know why and how this person was able to do this, pretty much. That's that's what his he's trying to find out the reasonings before he could bring them up to anybody. It yeah. depends on who specifically he's bringing this up to. That's the question there. But leading into this, like I said, this mid season right now, it's a very interesting where we're going with it right now. It's now they're heading up north, more north, heading for, towards the witches to see. Um, the, the other witch, that one, I forgot her name already. Oh, um, Serafina. Serafina. There, it looks like they're heading up, uh, you know, and now they have the bear. They got lead to back them up and stuff like that. So it's like they're they're coming together pretty much to try to see what they could stop. They have yeah, it also appears that John, the head of the Western Egyptian, seems to be trying to be a bit more, like, realistic about things and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Instead of having, instead of, like, what the other guy is saying about having to trust Lyra and the Leafiometer, pretty much. You know, and I, I understand where John's coming from, but at the same time, you know, like, it's like what Lyra stated. It's like, we need all the help we can get. Yeah. You know, even if, it's one, even if it's one bear, still, one bear can make a difference. Yeah. You know, so that's, that's you know, I, so that's where he has to come from. But overall, another great episode. I really like where they're going and, and where it's leading to. We didn't get this episode, as, and that's cool, too. This episode, we didn't get to see... Roger or Billy, pretty much. Because remember, the last few episodes we've been seeing where they've been at. I think we're going to get to them again I eventually. Because we need to see yeah. this uh, station. The station, much. which they also stated, that's where some of the witches that are on the Magisterium site are located at as well. Yeah, so... So, yeah. It's gonna, next, yeah, second half of this season is definitely going to be nothing but North. And, you know, eventually, Cora, I think Lyra is going to confront Mrs. Coulter again. By yeah, the end and of I, love, I love Lyra this episode because you're starting to see her more... Straightforward, like ballsy, right. like I'm not. I, it's like things have to get done. We have to do it. There's no and, bullshit around. And, and, and just by that alone, you can tell who her parents are, uh, Mrs. Coulter and uh, Oz, Oz, Azriel, pretty much. And yeah, pretty much. And you can both, tell she gets it from them. Both exude confidence in what they want. It's like they want it, and they're gonna get it. They, nothing's gonna back them down, especially with the polar bear. Yeah, and, uh, York. It's, yeah, it's hard to argue that that they're not her parents. You know, it's really hard to argue that part. But yeah. uh, good episode overall. And, yeah, they got the bear. Yeah. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about HBO slash BBC original series, hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this episode. Was it a strong episode uh, for introducing uh, Yorick and the scores be pretty much? You think they, they picked, you know, the, uh, the, the right type of cast for this? And stuff like that. And also, because I know you brought it up as well, going, uh, what do you guys think of the voice work pretty much so far they've been using with some of these demons? Uh, you know, some of the voice work sounds, they sound really amazing. They, they got, it looks like they got some really good people uh, to uh, work on the voices for yeah. some of these characters. Uh, for some of these demons. Uh, let us know what you think of that. But let us know what you guys thought of this episode, um, of where they're going into, how they're leading into this. Um, uh, what's what's Mrs. Coulter's, you know, true motive? I mean... For those who have not read the books, pretty much, and follow along, what are your guys' theories, pretty much, on what her motives are overall? You know, is it more than just, pretty much, the dust or the other world? Is there more to it than that? Mm -hmm. That's the big question I think I, I would have to ask, pretty much, from just from this episode overall, or where she's going with, exactly. Um, but let us know what you guys thought of this episode, but now what you thought of our reaction overall and again i'm I, I hope the sound and stuff like that it had it did get better for you guys um like i said i've been doing some tweaks here and there so it sounds like it's been doing good for the sound wise fun sound quality and i thank you and again happy thanksgiving have a safe ho uh happy holiday uh this weekend and thank you for watching
And of course, on the next episode of SRB TV, dealing with his dark materials, we will be tackling Season 1, Episode 5, The Lost Boy. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And of course, this has been a very polarizing, bear-filled episode of SRB TV. I thought you said it's going to be the Polar Express type of thing. Oh, <laughs> we'll see you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.